After decades of drinking and drug use, a local restaurateur decided to turn his life around. And tonight, his hard work paid off yet again as he added a new award to a shelf. This one from the National Restaurant Association. And you know what? He's getting attention not just for his food, but for his efforts worldwide to help others get back on the right path. New at 11 tonight, Stephen Cheetah spoke with him about his amazing mission. We're going to do that tonight with all the fresh veg local. He calls the shots. Restaurateur Matt Haley successfully scaled this precarious business to the top. But as a child, he learned what it's like at the bottom. I found booze, man, you know, when I was in seventh or eighth grade. The fresh faced high schooler had discovered harder stuff. By the time I was 30 years old, I was shooting dope and smoking crack. Haley served two years behind bars for drug dealing. Then a judge transferred him to a treatment facility, which required a job. So at age 34, he got a grunt job in a restaurant working for a chef who saw potential. Uh, I started out with washing dishes and cutting vegetables, and slowly but surely, he taught me how to cook. Fast forward 15 years, and Haley is on the eastern shore. You know, I didn't know how to do this stuff, you know, when I was in, in prison. Where he presides over a restaurant empire. And I came down here with no money. I had nothing, no place to stay. I came down for a day to look at something, and I never left. Despite his success, Haley isn't content. He's working on a new restaurant, which is scheduled to open in a couple of weeks. Now, this one will be his eighth. The Matt Haley Companies right now owns and operates 27 different businesses. We employ 1,000 people, and we generate about $50 million a year in revenue. Haley returns to D.C. often to the Crossroads Treatment Center in Alexandria. He gives his time to help others. Because I truly believe that this facility saved my life. It's important for a guy like me to let people know they no longer have to continue to live the way that they were living. Haley works tirelessly on a constellation of causes. He builds schools in Latin America and combats human trafficking in Asia. He spends several months a year in Nepal, where he's raising three girls he rescued from a prostitution ring, one just nine at the time. She came up to me one night and she put her head on my shoulder and she looked up at me and she said, Dad, you saved our lives. But what she didn't really know is that she had saved mine. Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.